play, you, you started straight out just into the lineup, and I came up big for you in a well-deserved one. Yeah, I mean, um, Andre, Andre, you know, has been playing well all year, and, and uh, you know, uh, we have a situation where we have a lot of depth at that position, and we have a number of guys that, can, that we're very confident in, you know, uh, in, in, in Peyton, in, uh, in Matt, in uh, Andre, you know, and, uh, you know, Tor is out right now with, uh, with, with illness, but, you know, we've got, we've got guys back there that can do the job, and Andre stepped up tonight, and he's been playing well, and he got his shot tonight, and he really made the most of it. You talked about the other day, but you didn't want to call it a must win, but, you know, it's a big win, and you know what, now that you've got it, how important is it? Yeah. Well, you know, I feel like this was really important for us as far as uh, the NCAA tournament. You know, we needed to get a win over a top ten, we, a top team. We've, we've played a bunch of teams close, and, you know, I, I felt like our guys, you know, all along have had the belief. They've, had the, they've stuck to what they've done, and uh, they kept fighting, and tonight they got the win. So it's a big one for us. Um, it gives us a little momentum going into the conference tournament, and, uh, yeah, so we just got to keep pushing. Coach, Gunyanson does it again tonight. How important is it to have such a big player coming off your bench, bringing in fresh energy with the ability to score goals? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Bjorn's done really well. And again, I would say to you that because he, we don't really, we're not too concerned about who's a starter or who's not a starter. You know, Kevin and Bjorn both can do a great job up there. Actually, Trigbe can do a good job up there as well. So we've got a number of guys that can play up there. But Bjorn, you need to give him credit because he scored big goals in big conference games now. And uh, he's really, really playing well. Um, he's, you know, uh, been able to score with his head on great service from the flanks. He's been able to score on the ground, you know, and he's also been able to hold up the ball and, 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 and generate some attack for us with bringing other players into the game. So, you know, he's really playing well. You know, and obviously this time you talk about against many different styles, but basically beating them with their own style. Well, Kentucky's a really good team. And uh, they really play. They play the right way. You know, they they they're really you know well coached. They're well disciplined. They, they, their players play. You know, it's always a great game with Kentucky. It's a clean game. It's a it's a hard game, but it's a clean game. And there's never any you know any anything uh, you know uh, out of the ordinary. So you know they're a very good team. Uh, they don't give up a lot of goals. To score two goals on them is a is a good achievement. But um, you know. For us, just a good win over a good team at the right time of year. Your team scored in the last five minutes of both halves. What does it say about your team's intensity from whistle to whistle? Yeah, I think it's good. I think the thing is, uh, I think our fitness is good. You know, I think our fitness is good. I think our guys are in very good condition, and I think that's helped. Um, and, you know, also, again, um, the intensity has been good. Thanks, Coach. Sweet. Thanks, Coach.